The remains of Alexander's sailing ship lie dashed upon the distant shore. Alexander is standing on a beach littered with debris from his shipwreck. A path leads north into the lush green island. An occasional breeze rustles the nearby foliage. Alexander is standing on a beach littered with debris from his shipwreck. A path leads north into the lush green island. An occasional breeze rustles the nearby foliage. Alexander is standing on a beach littered with debris from his shipwreck. A path leads north into the lush green island. An occasional breeze rustles the nearby foliage. In the distance, Alexander can see the peak of a mountain rising up from the base of another island. Apparently, the island Alexander is standing on is part of a chain of islands. The sky is sunny and clear. A few white clouds accent the bright blue. The ocean appears calm, but there's a dimpling pattern to the surface which indicates an undertow. A long plank lies on the beach. No doubt it once belonged to Alexander's ship. Rocks abound on this lush volcanic isle. Alexander's royal insignia ring lies abandoned on the sand. It must have slipped from his finger during the shipwreck. Fortunately, it was not lost in the sea. A path leads inland to the north. The beach is covered with a fine-grained white sand. grand old tree stretches its luxurious limbs out over the crossroads. A hollow in the trunk of the old tree forms a perfect nesting place for wildlife. Rocks abound on this lush volcanic isle. The path splits here, forming a crossroads. One branch heads northeast towards a distant castle, and one leads northwest into a small village. To the left, a small village seems to invite the weary traveler. In the distance, a majestic castle shines in the sun. Large leafy ferns spread their fronds across the fertile ground. Alexander picks up his royal insignia ring from the beach.
I think I like having the no text. Or I think I like having text when, when looking at items because the guy's voice is okay, but it's kind of annoying if I keep on clicking on something and then it's not right. So for the actual conversation, I can have I can play it two ways. I can play it normally and then restore and do the text so you can read it if you want. Or I can just make a file of the text ones. I'll decide what I want to do, but. I think I know what I'll do. I'm going to have him... I'll do the let's play in the speech and I'll do the playthrough in the text. So if you want to see the text, watch the playthrough and if you want to see hear the speech, then you will want to watch the Let's Play.
Alexander picks up his royal insignia ring from the beach. Alexander politely addresses the odd-looking guards at the castle doors, hoping to learn more about his predicament. Good day to you, guards. I was cast upon this island in a storm, and I'm a little confused about my location. Could you tell me what place this is and who lives in this castle? Hey, what is that you say? A castaway? A likely story. We haven't had any foreigners in this part since El Hazred arrived. Ah, uh, don't be so rude, Gruff. He's not asking for any secrets. You're standing on the Isle of the Crown, lad, and this is the Castle of the Crown. The royal family resides here. Or uh, rather, what's left of the royal family. The Isle of the Crown? But tell me, am I anywhere near the land of the Green Isles? This is the land of the Green Isles. The Isle of the Crown is the main island, foolish boy. Then Princess Cosima must live in this very castle. Aye, the princess is indeed our treasure jewel to God, and we consider it an honor. Excuse me, guardsmen, uh, uh, guard dogs. I've been traveling for months to see Princess Cosima. I would like an audience, please. I'm sorry, but the princess is not receiving visitors, particularly not strangers. I really must see the princess. Could I speak with someone in charge? Who are you that I should bother Captain Saladin, huh? My name is Alexander. I am a prince of Daventry and a friend of the princess. A prince, is it? I see. Yeah, and I am lord of this dusty pair. Step aside. You'll not be getting into this castle without some proof of your claims. I assure you, I am Prince Alexander of Daventry. And I assure you that you'll not get past me without proof. It won't do any good to try to convince the door itself to allow Alexander to pass. It only does as it's told. 